as an experienced IT professional who is interested in advancing his career in the field of cybersecurity. After conducting some research, he decided to pursue CISSP certification, which is a widely recognized as one of the most respected certifications in the industry. Now, to prepare for the CISSP exam, John enrolls in comprehensive online training programs that covers all the topics of the CISSP common body knowledge. He spends several weeks studying the materials, taking practice exams, and also reviewing his results to identify areas where he needs to improve. Well, on the day of the exam, John arrives at the exam center feeling very confident and well prepared. He spends several hours answering multiple choice questions that cover a wide range of topics related to cybersecurity, such as access control, cryptography, and risk management. After completing the exam, John receives a provisional pass, which means that he has met minimum requirements for the certification. Now, he is elated and excited to add CISSP to his list of professional accomplishments. Over the next few weeks, John receives his official CISSP certificate and is recognized by his peers as a cybersecurity expert. Now, he feels a sense of pride and accomplishment knowing that he has demonstrated his knowledge and skills in the field of cybersecurity through rigorous CISSP exam. Quite confusing, right? Hello everyone and welcome to this video on CISSP exam preparation. Now, how many of us know about CISSP? Might be very few. So today in this video, we will be talking on what is CISSP, how is it important and how shall we prepare for it. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and click the bell button to never miss out any updates from us. Also, if you are interested in learning more about CISSP or wish to obtain CISSP certification course and training, then please see the link in the description below. Now let's quickly begin with our today's topic. So what is CISSP exam? CISSP or the Certified Information System Security Professional Certification is one of the most sought after certifications in the IT security industry. This certification is designed to validate your skills and knowledge in different domains of cybersecurity. Now that we have come to know what CISSP stands for, let us know how is it so important in the field of cybersecurity for professionals or why is it so highly valued? Well, CISSP certification is highly valued by the employers and can lead to increased job opportunities and higher salaries for these certified professionals. It is also recognized as the standard of excellence in the field of information security as it is often required for positions in government, military services, and other highly secure organizations. If we look on to the scope in this certification, then after obtaining the CISSP certification, you can expect a wide range of career opportunities in the field of cybersecurity, such as security consultant, penetration tester, chief information security officer, network architect, cybersecurity engineer, and many more. Well, these are just few examples of the many career paths that are available to CISSP certified professionals. And this demand will continue to grow in the future. And CISSP certification will help you stand out in the competitive job market. So now that we have come to know that CISSP exam is quite rigorous and challenging, but who are eligible for this exam? Well, in order to become a certified CISSP, you must meet some certain requirements, such as experience. Here, you must have at least five years of experience in two or more of the domains of the CISSP common body knowledge. Now, if you do not have any required experience, you can still take the exam and become an associate of ISC Square. That is nothing but Information System Security Certification Consortium. You must also have the educational background. Here, you must have either four years of college degree or an equivalent credential. Now, if you do not have a college degree, you can still qualify for the certification by having an additional year of experience. Now, to become a CISSP certified, you must pass the CISSP certification exams. It consists of 250 multiple choice questions 
and you have only 6 hours to complete it. You must also agree to abide by the ISC square code of ethics. Now you must understand that it's essential to realize that just because you satisfy the qualifying conditions doesn't mean that you'll pass this test. As it is quite challenging and it does thorough examination of your knowledge and grasping of information security topics and principles. So to be successful, you must be completely prepared for this exam. Now that we have come to know the eligibility criteria, let us understand how is CISSP exam designed or what is the actual exam format? Well, the CISSP exam consists of 250 multiple choice questions that must be completed within 6 hours. These questions are based on the common body of knowledge which covers all the 10 domains of cybersecurity. That includes security and risk management, asset security, security architecture and engineering, communication and network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, software development security, cryptography and security in the cloud. Well, I know that it's going to be very overwhelming for you. So to help you prepare for the CISSP exam preparation, we have got you some tips and tricks that will help you prepare well for the exam. So starting with our tips and tricks. First is understanding the CISSP exam. It should be the first step to prepare for CISSP exam in order to understand what the exam is all about. As we discussed in the exam format, CISSP exam consists of 250 multiple choice questions and you have 6 hours to complete it. So always make sure to understand the exam format because understanding the exam format and objectives will help you tailor your study plan accordingly. Next is create a study plan. Creating a study plan is very much essential for success in any exams. You divide your study time into manageable blocks and allocate enough time for each domain. Start by focusing on your weaker domains and then move on to stronger domains. Because the CISSP covers many topics, so it's very much important to pace yourself and not try to cram everything in at once. Next is utilize study materials. There are a variety of study materials available for CISSP exam preparation, which includes book, online courses, practice exams. So make sure that materials that align for this exam are up to date and with the latest industry practice. Some of the popular study materials are CISSP official practice test that is the second edition. You can also go for CISSP all-in-one exam guide, eighth edition by Sean Harris and Fernando Miami. You can also go for CISSP study guide that is the third edition by Eric Conrad. Next is join a study group. Joining a study group can provide a supportive learning environment and will also allow you to collaborate with other individuals who are also preparing for this exam. Study groups can help you reinforce concepts and provide a platform for discussing difficult topics. Last but not the least is practice. Well, there is a very good phrase that practice makes man perfect. Well, it's very true. Practicing exams are very essential part for the CISSP exam preparation. It provides you an opportunity to gauge your progress and identify the, your areas where you need to focus on your study efforts. So do practice a lot in order to build confidence and reduce exam anxiety. Lastly, take care of yourself. It is very important to take care of yourself during the exam preparation. Getting enough sleep, eating healthy diet and exercising regularly can reduce your stress and improve cognitive function. Taking breaks during study sessions is also important for maintaining focus and avoiding burnouts. So these are the key tips and tricks that you can follow while you are preparing for your CISSP exam. Hence, preparing for the CISSP exam requires dedication and commitments. As it is very challenging yet very rewarding for information security professionals. So this was all from my end. If you have any doubts related to CISSP exam or the preparations, so please leave your comments down below in the comment section. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries 
and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!